attack. The next separation is a nice secure handstand at the top. And he's on to the cool flop combinations on the one handle. Very nicely done. Very disciplined in the placement of his hands. This is a spin wolf. He's a bit wild there. Lost the rhythm. What a shame for Frank. He will know that that is his bid for a medal out the door. This is very important to keep your heels moving, keep the whole body straight, and if you sink your hips, you also bend his legs and your parts can't. Again, Frank Newton so little senior competition. Exposure like this is, is vital for your career, isn't it, Mitch? Yeah, it's part of the, the learning curve, and uh, he got straight back on with lovely technique, smoothly through the handstand. That's very nice. He's got a great future in front of him. He has, and let me tell you, Frank Bates will continue to impress in this men's all-around final. Very, very stylish gymnast. Like it says, great technique. Christopher Dunn. 13.333 is the score of the championship so far. That we've seen it so many times. This is compatriot from New Zealand, David Bishop. Can he do what brings? These gymnasts have been divided into groups by their score. That's a very nice fit for the shoulders, well in line. And it's interesting how the countries are packed together. Shoulders beautifully down, straight arms, swings into the strength hold, and lips to handstand. You can see he's holding the rings still. That was nicely done. From handstand, swing on straight arms, back to handstand. Into the dismount, one and a half twist in the double back. He fought very well to not let himself sit down. That extra half twist is so tricky to try and spot your landing and know exactly where the ground is coming. But he scurried back. But it's best to uh, give away too many chances. Frank Baines, top eight, two, five. Fair. Come on, then. Come on, then. But Daniel Keatings, he has been double European champion on this piece of apparatus. He was doing ever so well after four.